Fine Arts Gallery at St. Peter's University is pleased to present Gerald Hayes' Reconstructing Die Cuts. His painting surface for some time has been birch veneer wood panels. The flat shapes he used have been influenced by the shapes of stamped and die cut pressed paper used in commercial packaging. In 2017, he began to mount the ready-made packing forms itself into the wooden panels. Related shapes and patterns were painted to blend the relief shapes into the painting surface. Let's hear a few words from Jerry, and then we'll take a closer look at the work. I'm Jerry Hayes. I'm in my studio today where I'm putting together some images for a, a virtual exhibition that we're doing. Um, a little bit about myself. I'm a longtime New Yorker. I'm living in Lower Manhattan for many years in Tribeca. And during that time, I was also faculty at Pratt Institute in the Fine Arts Department until 2006, when my family and I moved to a small town, small coastal town, only 18 miles east of Boston, where we live now, and I have a, my studio here. These relief paintings I'll show you evolved from some two-dimensional paintings, like this one here, which was painted in 2016. Let's look at the process. While Jerry was teaching at the University of Illinois, he created paintings on paper by spraying paint into the openings of flat, discarded cardboard display sheets. The effects are fascinating. Fast forward to 2016. In Duplex, he refers to the two-dimensional acrylic work on birch veneer panel. He has stenciled the painted shapes that he has drawn from packaging design. Here are some of the raw materials used in Jerry's work. For the past three years, he has created a hybrid of these industrial die cut packing forms on a flat painting surface. Sculpture is finite and real, while painting is an illusion. By melding the two together, his work acquires a physical presence in the same way a collage or something attached to a painting surface will have real highlights or cast shadows. He refers to these works as relief paintings or painted reliefs. Jerry says he limits color to avoid being decorative. Like a sculptor, he lets his work stand without painting letting the inherent color of the material be its color. Titles have always interested Jerry. He said they're often found by chance or association. After the untitled firehouse relief was completed, Jerry happened to cross that fire station you just saw. The intense red doors gave the name firehouse to this relief. In this piece, the association was the ancient sarcophagus of Tutankhamun. Here, the pressed letters on the paper form themselves became the inspiration for this title. Titles come from many different places. This piece, Silence, was inspired by the composer-musician's book, John Cage. Here you see Paul Feely's work inspiring Jerry's work called Jacks.
Jerry cut, then painted stenciled shapes onto his wooden panel. The silhouettes graphically resembled a real object. The paintings, Pantry and Nature Mort, both have positive or negative shapes that resemble bottles in a still life. This idea just evolved from the process of making the work and the titles followed. The images of bottles were not planned, but were suggested by the shapes in the ready-made reliefs that were used. Several of the pressed paper packing forms that he found were inside boxes for shipping large objects, usually kitchen products and rice cookers, pasta makers, bread machines, etc. The shapes of these container-like forms suggested to him titles like Arena, Coliseum, Diamonds on the Square. Turn, fifths, and paths employ vertical color paths that run over small objects. They are reversed into the opposite color path or flipped, making them look more puzzle-like and unexpected. Stop and Go is one of Jerry's newest works, where he has started to eliminate the stage of the wooden panel. We will end with a few more words from the artist. Yeah. Uh, from those small paintings, I've ironically created even smaller works. But I have said before that paintings don't have to be big to be important. Uh, just recently, I eliminated the wood stage or uh, platform from the earlier work. And there's one on the wall here that is completed relief. And there are three that are in progress. I think and I hope they will lead me to unexpected, uh, important new direction for my work.